Okay, hi everybody. It's November 19th. You're here at the weekly Chaos Community Call. There uh, is just a few of us here today. Totally fine. If you want to add your name to this agenda, I will drop this back in the chat. Wait, oh, wait, let me make sure. Yeah, that's it. I don't want to link you to something weird. I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. There you go. Um, if you, it is next week, the week of Thanksgiving here in the state. So I just thought I would ask if there's something you're grateful for and you want to tell us what that is. Mine is my family and my partner. Um, love them all very, very much. So yeah, that's what I'm grateful for. I have many things that I am grateful for, but that is one of the things, I guess maybe two of the things, <laughs> however you want to categorize it. Um, yeah, so just some important reminders. We um, are off next week, so all US-based chaos meetings have been canceled. They're taken off the calendar. Um, all of the other chaos meetings, the chaos meetings for Chaos Africa, Chaos Asia, um, those are still on. And if anyone's in those meetings and they decide to cancel them, that's fine. Somebody just let me know from that group. Um, and then we always take a break at the end of the year uh, just to help keep us all from getting burned out on meetings because there's a lot of chaos. So from December, December 9th to January 6th, we cancel all chaos meetings and just take a break. There are two exceptions to this. One is the uh, UNSDG meeting. They are a pretty new group, so they've decided to keep their meeting on December 11th just because they have momentum going in the group. They don't want to lose that. Um, and then the Chaos Con CFP committee does need to meet to talk about the um, talks that have been submitted and decide. So, so those are the only two meetings that will happen uh, as far as chaos is concerned. People are still usually around to chat on Slack. So if there are things to be talked about, that can happen uh, asynchronously on Slack. Otherwise, just take a break. We'll see you next year, you know. Uh, so if this meeting will not happen next week, uh, the week after that it will. So just um, just so you know, and it, everything it should be updated on the chaos calendar online. Just make sure we have that for you all. Here's the chaos calendar. And you can subscribe for those who don't know, you can subscribe to any of these meetings, any or all of them. There's a uh, links over here that you would just save as ICS files um, and then add them to your calendar that way. So you can see December looks pretty, pretty scarce, <laughs> which is good. <laughs> this is your time to chill and relax and then come back starting fresh after the first of the year. I'll just drop this link in the chat since Make sure you all know that. Any questions on that from anybody? Okie dokie. I'll go ahead. This is going to be a very quick meeting, I think, <laughs> because we don't have that much on our agenda. Um, reminder, ChaosCon EU has been scheduled. Here's the information. So if you're planning to attend FOSTEM, uh, this is two days before FOSTEM in Belgium, and you can submit your abstract until December 17th. There's just a Google form here that you can fill out, tell us about what you want to talk about. It's pretty simple. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's pretty simple, pretty easy. Um, we also have registration open. It will be $10. That does include a social event at the end of the evening and snacks and drinks um, throughout the day. And then if you are working for a company that is able to sponsor something, that would be great. We would really appreciate helping defer some of those costs because it does get a little bit expensive to host an event. So if you are able to sponsor something, that would be great. And there are opportunities available on that website. You can read all about that. Any questions about Chaos Con? Okay. Uh, there is a new Chaos Cast. Want to make sure everybody saw that. It's about our security practitioner guide. 
Dawn and Harmony and Emily Fox all chatted about that. So it's a really good one. It's a really good one. So if you're interested in open source security, this is the place to be right here. And it's a half an hour, so it's a little bit shorter than our usual podcast, but um, it is a great one. So definitely take a listen to that. And if you want to know what that's about, it's one of our guides here. It's right here. That's what they're talking about, mostly, aside from just general open source security. Any questions about that? Okay. Um, the community survey has ended. So thank you to everybody who participated in that. We will be doing some um, high level analysis of just some themes that emerged from that survey. So you can look forward to that um, sometime in the near future. I don't know what time frame we're working on, but yeah, there's that. And then a quick badging update. Um, I just want to let people know we are almost at 200 badges. So that's great. Yay. Thank you to everybody who has been participating in that. I don't know what our plans are for a, a larger 200 badged event uh, celebration are. I don't know if we have any plans for that, but uh, yeah, we're almost there. So that's good. And I wanted to just give a shout out to the Django project for um, being one of the latest projects to get that DEI project badge, uh, which means that they have gone through this process. They've created this DEI.md file which should load right here, right here. So you can read how they're using chaos metrics um, to, to share with their community how they are attending to diversity, equity, and inclusion in their, in their project. So good for them. And then a few of you were in the uh, new Badger orientation this morning, but uh, that, so that was the last one for the year, um, but you can still sign up, I should say, to be a badger. Oops. My internet is very slow today. By watching, uh, here's the recording from today. It's just a link. I posted it to YouTube in case anybody wants to watch it. Um, if you watch that, you'll see at the end there's a form you can fill out to be a badger. So there you go. Questions on any badging stuff? <laughs> okay, <laughs> 15 minutes in and we're through the agenda already. <laughs> uh, anybody else have anything else to, <laughs> to remind the community about or to talk, to, talk about? I'm not sure where everybody is. This is a little bit weird, it's unnerving. Like usually we have about 15 people in this meeting. And I mean, it's a small but mighty crew, but I'm like, did I get the day wrong? Did I mess something up? Where is everybody? What's happening? I don't know. I don't know what happened. What was that, Daniel? Sorry, what'd you just say? I don't know what happened. <laughs> I don't either, I don't either. <laughs> we do I can also bring up some reminders that we usually say which we haven't said in a while i'll bring those up weekly reminders. Um, since we do have a few people here that may or may not have heard this stuff i'll just drop it in here. Um, these are just regular old reminders they are not time sensitive or anything like that, um, but i'll run through them really quick, since we have time. If you do have any um, contributions that don't show up as a PR, don't show up in an API somewhere, uh, we have an issue template. So if you are facilitating a meeting, if you are helping with a podcast, if you're doing anything that we call a community contribution that is not code, that isn't, um, doesn't show up anywhere in a repo, this you can fill out and it adds you to a document here on GitHub. So it does show up somewhere. If we're, do, if we're running data analysis on stuff. So feel free to fill that out. 
and get counted and acknowledged for your work. If you have podcast ideas, you can send them to this email address and this team will see those ideas. If you have something you want to share, we do have a Slack. There's a form you can fill out through Slack and it goes to the comms team. So that will help us um, know what things we need to be sharing, what, what news we need to be sharing with the community. You can nominate somebody for chaotic, chaotic of the week. There's a form right here to do that. Looks like this. Pretty simple. And we also have an education repo and a calendar of upcoming talks, which I don't know if it's being updated. I don't know if people are submitting their talks, but if you are giving a talk, tell us and we'll add it to this calendar of, of people who are giving talks. And we also do have a, channel, a new channel for open source jobs. If you see some that come around, you wanna share them with people, or if you're at a company who's hiring something in open source, uh, there's a channel for that. So you can share that news. And that's pretty much it. We don't have anything else on our agenda. And we are 15 minutes in, so I would be happy to get that time back. I'm sure you all will too. What uh, what questions do people have? What are, what are we missing? What topics do we need to talk about as a community? Yeah, Daniel, go ahead. Oh, okay. Uh, that is a question that I'm that I'm having, eh? but uh, uh, it's about it's about the day the day the day MD file. So okay. if I have if I have a project, cause I, I have a project that it's ongoing eh? at my okay. at my campus. So can we also can I also get a budget for it? Yes, a hundred percent. You can. Uh, so I will take you back to the badging website that we were looking at. Uh, it's just project badging. So I'll drop this link in the chat for you. It talks all about all about what it is, what it does, how to do it. Essentially, yeah. you'll... Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I know. I, I, for that, I know about that, but because I've been in the development thing, but um so just i just wanted to inquire how the process how the process is and uh because i thought that it's for just only big projects yeah yes okay so um how it works is right here this is so basically you'll just fill out that or, or create this document dei.md and um there's a template down here that you can use and there's guidance right here that you can use that helps you fill that out. So you're filling it out on behalf of your project. And you would just tell us, it's really, my internet is very slow today. I don't know what is happening. Um, I might turn, I'm gonna turn my video off. So here's the template that you would use and we're asking you to tell tell your community about four DEI metrics from chaos. The first one is project access, communication transparency, newcomer experience, and inclusive leadership. So there is no right or wrong answer here. We're just asking you to tell us and your community how you attend to these things, like what things are you doing to help your project be more accessible. And you can click on these to uh, have more information about the actual metric of like what kinds of things are included in project access. Like, what does this mean? For instance, whoops, I wanted to go back to this. Whoops, where did it go? I guess I went away from it. So you would just fill this out and then you go, once you have your DEI.md file ready, like Django has done, they've written everything in about Django. Then you would just go to this badging website, which I don't know where it went. So we'll come back to that. You go up here to apply for a badge, you would click on project badging. So then you have to just make sure you're logged in 
and it will find or you tell us where to find the file it will find it for you and then uh, issue your badge automatically so there are no human reviewers in this process. It does it automatically just because the number of projects is so very high and it's it will be hard for us to ma to manage uh, all of the projects on GitHub or GitLab or wherever. So does that make sense, Daniel? Do you have any questions about that process? Uh, no, no. I'm good at Perfect. If you do, how, if you like get through it and you're or start start it and then you get stuck, by all means, just ask in the badging channel or you can ask in the DEI working group channel, wherever. Yeah, go for it. I see another hand up. Hello, good evening. Hello. Oh, sorry. It is evening here in Nigeria. My name is Rodiat, and this is my, my first time joining this community. I think I joined like 20 minutes ago. So I'm kind of lost. I don't really understand what is going on. Sorry. I don't know if this is the right question to ask, but I just wanted to ask. And yeah, no, you are totally fine. And welcome, welcome, welcome to Chaos. It's great to have you here. So these meeting, the meeting you're in right now is um, just our general community meeting. So this is the meeting where we just kind of talk about things that are pertinent to the whole community. So, you know, things like, hey, um, meetings are canceled. Um, here's our chaos con that we're putting on. So this is all just kind of news and discussion that we have once a week with everybody in the community. And then there are also a lot of other meetings that happen which you can find, oh, not there. Here, I'll just go back to the website. Oh, there, on the calendar. Yeah, right here on the calendar, if my internet will cooperate with me. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's tired just like I am today, what the heck. Um, so here's our calendar of all the meetings. Uh, um, a great meeting, Rodi, up for you to attend, which we had this morning, and we won't have it again for a while, unfortunately, <laughs> is this newcomer hangout. So that's a meeting where you can just ask questions, you can get an overall view about what chaos is, what we're trying to do here, how you might contribute, that kind of thing. It's very informal, there's no agenda, it's really just a hangout. So that might be good for you to attend on December 3rd is the next one you're kind of joining chaos at a weird okay. time honestly because we are taking a big break actually in December. i was just i was just scrolling on twitter then i came across it i'm like okay this is an open source community so i just clicked on the link and i joined on slack then the next thing i saw that you guys are having a meeting so i just joined just you know to say what's up, like what is going on. But anyways, thank you so much. And please, yeah. where can I get um the calendar so that I can follow along? Yeah. The calendar. My calendar is in the chat. Yep, right there it is. Um, yes. You can also uh, look through the list of Slack channels because there might be something that piques your interest that way. I will also point you to this really quick, which is our YouTube channel. And you can look at meetings that have already happened because we do record meetings and put them out up on YouTube. So if you're not sure if something sounds interesting to you or not, feel free to just poke around and watch some of these meetings. You can watch them at like double speed. <laughs> so it's like not quite so long for you. Um, yeah, there's some really, some really good meetings here. So that's another way to kind of just get to know what the meetings are about and what we're talking about at each one of them. All right, thank you. I'll check them out. Yeah, you are very welcome. That newcomer hangout is a pretty good meeting um, just because that way it's kind of like, there's only a few of us there. You can ask whatever questions you want. It's really friendly, very, you know, very open, so. Anybody else have any questions about chaos or about what we're doing or anything else to add to our agenda over here?
Okay, well, 25 minutes in, we got it, we got through it. <laughs> Thank you everybody for coming today. It was really great to see you. Thank you, Rodiat and New Faces to, for showing up. We appreciate you being here. Um, we will see you in, not next week, but two weeks from today. Same time, same place. Have a great rest of your day, everybody. We'll see you around. Have a good one. Yeah, Bye. you too. Thank you. Bye, everybody. Bye. All right, bye.